Hi everybody, I'm Teacher Will's cousin. Now Teacher Will is not able, or he wanted to make you a video, but he hasn't been feeling well at all. He's in bed sick. So he asked me, me, to make a video for you guys to talk about something. Now, I'm not a teacher, a professional teacher. I'm not like a content provider, but when my cousin teacher Will called me and said, listen, you gotta help the ATW family think of something to talk about. I was like, all right, cuz, no problem. I'm not the professional like you are, but I'll think of something. So, it's me, all right? So, what do I want to talk about? Well, I, I, I'm an English learner like you, right? I'm trying to improve my English, my expressions, my vocabulary, my grammar. I, I'm just trying to improve because improvement is a daily process. So, I think I want to talk about a word or two words. Critical thinking. Now, what, what is that? That's such a deep word, critical thinking. Well, when I think of critical thinking, it's basically just the ability to analyze or think about facts to make my own opinion. So, critical thinking. I think it's important in my own life, particularly as it relates to me learning English. So like I said before, I've been watching videos to improve my English. And a lot of times with all these videos that I've been watching on social media, on Instagram and YouTube, I keep seeing this expression or these particular expressions come up saying, death Say. Don't say or stop saying. Like, stop saying, how are you? Don't say, I think. Don't say, you're welcome. Stop saying, very. And I gotta admit something to you. I gotta really share something with you. I don't know if this relates to you, but when I hear those expressions, I'm confused. I'm like, what are you talking about? Don't say this and don't say that and stop saying this. Well, listen, why am I confused? Well, I'm learning English. Are you learning English? English is not my native language. It's not my mother tongue. So, I don't know about you, but when I hear stop saying or don't say, I sometimes, I don't want to admit this to you, but I sometimes feel stupid. I sometimes feel like, wow. I sometimes feel like, wait a minute, this ain't my native language? Did I say something or do something wrong? I... I really don't want to, I, I shouldn't admit this to you, but when I hear that, I'm kind of like, uh, it makes me feel scared or prevent me from speaking English. But uh, again, I get confused. I've gotten upset. Now, I don't know if you like me and Maybe you're not like me. Maybe I think too deep. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm only or thinking too much. But am I thinking critically? Is there, maybe, is there a, another way? But if I'm a teacher, if I'm a content provider on Instagram or YouTube, is there a way? Or maybe, I don't know. I gotta ask myself, or I thought about this when I'm thinking critically, 
I'm asking myself, these content providers, these teachers that are the professionals, that are the subject matter experts, why are they saying and using don't say or stop saying? Now certainly, certainly, certainly they can do whatever they want to do. But I've asked myself, like, why are these experts, these teachers, using these expressions? Is it because they really believe that? Is it because that's part of, like, their sales and marketing techniques? Is it because maybe, I don't know, just maybe they're on the bandwagon? Bandwagon means like, oh my goodness, they see other people saying, don't say, stop saying, and so they're on the bandwagon. They do everything else, or they do the same thing that most other content provider does. Because maybe it gives them more clicks, or maybe it just triggers a particular algorithm. I don't know. But when I hear that, I gotta ask myself, if I don't feel happy when people say that, what responsibility do I have, if any, to say something? Do I? Why don't I say something? Why don't, if I don't like what a content provider or a teacher says, why don't I use my voice? Why don't I actually write a comment? Why don't I say, wait a minute, why are you saying that? I'm just learning English. Or why don't I sit back and say, wait a minute, I don't agree with you. Do I not say something maybe because, oh, that's the teacher. I don't know. That's the teacher and the teacher's native. They know better than me. Do I think critically? Maybe I need to start using my voice, using my power, start believing in myself, and possibly have a relationship with these teachers and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's just not working for me. But I don't. Because if I'm honest, I really don't believe enough in myself. And I don't think that I should say something But you know what? Maybe, just maybe, perhaps in the future, then I'm going to begin to think critically and I'm gonna begin to say something if I feel there's language or content that people do that I just don't believe in. I mean, like, when I'm speaking my native language, like, I don't know, like, when I'm using my native language or mother tongue, I, I, I speak differently. My language, my words, my expressions change based on the people that I speak with, the level of familiarity, the situation and context. So, if that happens in my native language, is it English the same way? And I don't say anything. I don't. But you know what? Maybe I'm, maybe by me talking to myself and making this video on behalf of my cousin, Teacher Will, gonna start believing in myself more and I'm going to stand up for myself and maybe just maybe when I do that other people might do that 
because they believe or think the same way that I do, but they don't have the courage and belief in themselves to say something. I'm going to take a stand when I think or believe as though that that doesn't work for me. Because you want to know why? I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about this. At the end of the day, I'm a human being who's learning English and it's not my first language. And, 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 I am a human being that happens to be a student and I can pay money to learn courses to improve my English. So you know what? Maybe I'm in the driver's seat. Maybe I'm the one with the power and just don't realize it. You know what? I hope my cousin asked me to make more videos. Now, I don't want him to be sick. I hope he gets better. But if I make videos in the future, instead of saying don't say or stop saying, I'm, I'm gonna use the different words, different expressions, such as other ways of saying, alternative ways of saying, did you know? I like that. It feels to me more embracing it feels to me more inclusive. Maybe it'll allow the learner, if they're gonna watch my videos, to be like, yeah, other ways of saying, different ways of saying, alternative ways of saying. And maybe I can change someone's perspective someone's journey with respect to their English goals. Well, I need to get out of here. Again, I'm not the professional. I'm not the teacher. I'm just someone trying to learn English. I need to go check on my cousin now. Maybe give him some chicken soup or if he's not feeling well, Take his temperature, I hope he doesn't have COVID. I don't think he does, I don't think he does, but I'm gonna check. So remember, language words. You know what I just realized? Sometimes what's important to me, it's not what I say, but how I say it. So I'm not gonna say, don't say. I'm not saying, stop saying. Thanks for listening. Now, I don't know if you like this video or not, but if you do, great. And if you don't, don't blame my cousin teacher, Will, cause I'm just speaking for me. See ya!